Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Big shock, big alert. We do not have a popular vote in America. We have something called the Electoral College. A lot of you guys don't know what that is. I'm going to explain to you what that is. Basically, this is a way to help smaller states have an equal voice in the Electoral College because if it was just a popular vote, a candidate can literally just go campaign in, you know, Los Angeles and New York and potentially win the entire country, right? Just go to all the big cities, win the entire country. So the Electoral College is a way back in the day they kind of made the smaller states count. Now, the issue with the Electoral College is that most of these elections come down to a handful of states. And I'm going to go over those states. I'm going to make my predictions on the states. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on those states. Some of these states vote red. Some of these states vote blue historically. I'm in California. California is always going to go blue mass, mass margins, which is why I'm going to tell you guys my vote towards the end of this video. But I'm going to go over to Electoral College. I'm going to make my prediction with to, to you guys and let you guys know how I think this thing is going to pan out. Um, it's not looking good for Trump as of right now, but that doesn't mean anything because it wasn't looking um, it wasn't looking good for him in 2016 and he still smashed. Right. And by the way, he did lose the popular vote in 2016, just like Bush lost the popular vote in 20 in, in the year 2000. That's kind of a weird thing where someone can lose, uh, someone can lose the popular vote and still become president. And 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 is that, is that dangerous to have a president who doesn't have the majority of the country behind him, right? Trump's highest approval rating was forty-seven percent. His highest approval rating was forty-seven percent. That's the lowest of any president in modern history. That's kind of crazy to think about. Why? Well, again, because he lost a popular vote by about 4 million votes. But we don't have a popular vote. We have this thing called the Electoral College. Each state has a certain number of delegates based on population, size, so on and so forth. Let me pull up the map. This website is 270 to win. This is kind of where everything stands now. Now, if you'll notice, if you'll notice, there are, you have blue states. These blue states have the votes going to Biden. The red states have the votes going to Trump. The blue states are obviously California, Nevada, uh, New York, you know, Illinois, so on and so forth. Now, these red states are obviously Trump. The lighter the blue, they're leaning to Biden. And then the lighter the red, they're leaning to Trump. And then these little gold ones are, are in between, right? Are in between states, uh, swing states. So these swing states are essentially what is going to make up this election. Okay, I am not in a swing state. Therefore, I am not too concerned about this election, my vote in this election rather, right? Because I really don't feel like my vote is going to count because again, I'm in California, which is, I'll explain to you guys who I'm voting for. So let's go over these swing states. Arizona, which a lot of people from Southern California, from Los Angeles have moved to Arizona, which is why they're predicting that it's going to win. Uh, potentially going to Biden. And let me see if I could pull up la uh, the la It doesn't have the last elections. Um, Florida is always a swing state. Georgia can potentially be a swing state. They're saying this is because of some of the voter suppression with the governor. I think the, the Republican governor won two years ago and people didn't really like that. So they're saying Georgia could potentially go blue. North Carolina, Ohio, um, Iowa and it was New Hampshire. So here's the deal. As it stands right now, you get you need 280, you need 270 to win. As it stands right now with these polls, unless Trump flips some of these states, it looks like a Biden victory as it stands right now. Right? As it stands right now. So let's let's just see what what can Trump flip? Okay, can Trump flip Pennsylvania? Okay, let's just give Trump Pennsylvania. Okay? Let's give Trump Michigan. He was in Michigan last night. Okay. Let's give Trump Florida. There's a lot of old folks in Florida. Okay. So now the race is tightening. Do you guys see what just happened there? Let's say that Trump uh, let the Republicans win Georgia. Okay. Now it's a tight race. Now it's a tight race. Now Democrats potentially are thinking that they could win Texas. I don't think that's going to happen. It's very be crazy historically the first time ever that Texas gets flipped. Right. So we'll just leave Texas alone. Let's say... Um, Let's give Trump North Carolina, okay? And then you still have Arizona, Iowa, and Ohio, okay? Again, and it's going to come down to a couple of these counties. It's going to come down to a couple of these counties. So let's just say, what do you guys think? Where should we give Trump? You think he could win? All, if he wins all three of these states, he wins, right? So if he gets uh, Ohio, 
Iowa and Arizona, he wins. That's a lot. Okay, so just think about all the states we just gave him. So, and and here's the deal. And if Biden, if Biden gets Arizona, and if Biden gets his home state of Pennsylvania, he wins. Okay. These are how the polls look right now. These are how the polls look right now. I don't know. You guys tell me. The way it's looking, if we go to real clear politics, it's a really, 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 really tight race uh, in the swing states, meaning that all of these swing states are potentially up for grabs. I'll pull it up right now. But let me know which, what do you guys think? What potential swing states can go to, um, can go to, uh, Trump. Like what, what states do you guys think can go to Trump? Right? Because there's a lot of states. And by the way, this is why this notion that like all Trump supporters are racist, I think is kind of goofy. Uh, only because a lot of these are the same folks that voted for Obama a couple years ago. Okay. These are the same folks that voted for Obama a couple years ago. So I think to say like, oh, all Trump supporters are racist. It's just silly. Right? Um, so let's go to the real clear politics polls. This is some of their most current polls. And if we look here, um, if we look here, the average, the national average is you got Biden up by almost double digits, right? And the race has tightened. Um, if you look at the betting odds, the, the, they're against Biden. And here are the swing states, right? Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nevada, Texas. All of these, except maybe Minnesota, um, are, well, they just added this. Okay. My bad. Let's go back to president. All of these are within the margin of error, which is why Hillary was, you know, polling ahead of Trump in a lot of these places. And she ended up losing some huge states like Wisconsin and right. And she ended up losing really bad. So let's go back. Let's go back. And let's again, let's look at the at these states. Um, I think it could go either way. I'm not. Listen, guys, I, I am not mad either way this goes. But this is how they're forecasting it. This is how they're forecasting it. So again, let's give Trump, let's give Trump Arizona. If Trump wins Arizona, he wins. Okay, if he wins Arizona, he wins. Considering he wins Florida and Georgia and North Carolina. Okay, but if he wins Arizona, if he loses Arizona, it goes to Biden. This is really, really, really interesting. I'm curious to hear from you guys. I'm curious to hear from you guys. Do you guys think we'll have a winner tonight? Do you think there'll be a clear, decided winner tonight? Do you guys think we'll have one? Um, it'll be interesting. I think if these, if listen, it, it, one of two things is going to happen. Either polling goes completely out of business and it's a wrap for polls, or I think, I think we'll have, well, there'll be, cons there'll be disputes, but I think we'll know who it looks like is going to be the next president tonight. That's, that's my prediction. Again, or pollings are just dead forever. The pollsters, they just need to fire all of them and start all over. <laughs> all of them. Just fire all of them, right? Um, I, I think it's, it's, it, it's, it looks like it's going to be a tight race, but I'm also interested on why Trump is going to places like Nebraska as of like a week ago. That didn't really make sense to me. If you are going to, you know... Um, if you're going to try to win these swing states, why are you going to Nebraska? Nebraska has historically been pro-Trump, right? What's the what's the point of going there? That part confused me. That part threw me off. Um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. My prediction, my I'll tell you guys my prediction, and I'll tell then I'll tell you guys why I'm voting for Joe Jurgensen. Okay, my prediction is uh, Trump got a Republican Supreme Court justice in. I think Trump wins. If Trump wins. There's gonna, they're gonna, the Democrats win the Senate and the House. Or if Trump loses, Biden, I think we'll have more Republicans in the Senate and the House. I think it's gonna be kind of like a split vote type of situation. My prediction is, goodness gracious, it's gonna be crazy if they got it this wrong twice. If you looked at the guy, I, I keep forgetting his name. He was on Valuetainment recently. Um, he has three, 13 predictable points of how to call an election. He's gotten every single election right with the caveat of the 20, 2000 election um, because 
of Florida. Florida really decided the 2000 election with Bush, and Bush's brother was the governor of Florida and got real sketchy. So he got that one wrong, but there was lawsuits and they went back and forth about it. But uh, he's predicting that uh, Trump loses. I think I'd have to agree with him because I think there's too many things that are against him. A struggling economy, uh, how COVID was handled, uh, his you know biggest accomplishments was massive tax cuts for the rich and the wealthy, um, and, and, and a corporate tax cut. I, I would be surprised if he won. Wouldn't be mad. I would be surprised, right? I would be surprised, um, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't be upset. You know, um, I'm not. I don't have to choose. And again, even if I was in a swing state, I probably would still seriously consider some of the other options. Some of the other options because I don't know. I can't get behind either of these guys. I think there's just too many things. I just think there's too many things that that just I personally can't rock with either of these candidates so those are my thoughts man I i'm curious to hear from you guys though like what do y'all think is gonna happen tonight are we gonna have a decided winner uh do you guys think there's gonna be a civil war <laughs> i don't think it's gonna be a civil war uh i think i think if trump loses um trump has taken l's before in his life i think he's 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 gonna he's despite what you think of him personally if you don't like him i think he's gonna take it um in stride and be classy about it i hope i think i hope um biden you know, I think Biden is going to do his thing, right? Either way. Um, so yeah, so that, that, that's, that's my prediction. I feel like, I think, I feel like Biden's going to win, but maybe, maybe not. I'm cool either way. I'm cool to be honest. And this is not me on some prophetic, thus says it the Lord. This is just my, just me looking at all the variables, all the things stack against Trump, where he's going, like him going to Nebraska is just really weird to me. Um, but I think the American people lose either way. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys in my next video on who I'm voting for. So, Kingstream Entertainment, Bruce Lawn.